Hello everybody, it's your pal Greasy Super here, and it's spooky month, yay, Halloween. Uh, and last year for Halloween, one of the videos that I made um, for last year was an artwork that I did of Kaya as a vampire, which in and of itself was a redraw from the year before, where I tried doing the same thing, but I really didn't like how it turned out, so I, I redrew it that year. And even though I still I still like the the final image that I did from last year, I wanted it to I just wanted to redraw it again. Uh, I guess maybe not redraw the drawing, but just just draw Vampire Kai again because I can. So <laughs> yeah, that's that's my really only reason for uh, doing this. But um, yeah, I wanted to get into the the, the the spirit of the spooky month, and I just thought. Doing this was a good way to do that, and uh, yeah, I just uh, I I you know maybe this will also be a yearly thing that I do, just drawing Kaya from Genshin Impact as a hard vampire guy. So yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Um, but I did do a couple of things this year that I didn't do last year with, that I wish I did. Uh, so I'll talk about that and I'll talk about some of the artwork things I did. One of the first things you'll notice is that his design is much different than last year. Last year I just kind of winged it when it came to the design of his clothes and I, I didn't really like doing that. I had like sketched out an outfit for him and then I just ended up like um, doing something else with the line art and I didn't really have a super fun time shading it either, but uh, yeah, I, that I, that wasn't the best um, uh, design that I did. But for this one, I actually looked more into pictures and photos of like vampire clothes and Victorian clothes to uh, create something I like a little better. And I also changed his hair again. Last year, I drew him in a high ponytail. And for this year, I was debating between doing that or just having his hair down with like a braid in it. Um, I decided uh, for the latter just because I liked how the, the silhouette looked a little better with it. And also I... I just have been having a, a, a uh, I, I like drawing Kaya with his hair down, and I don't know why. I just like drawing, I like drawing long hair, that's, that's the reason why. I really like drawing it, and I really like shading it, it's super fun. Uh, and yeah, some of the same elements have stayed, like his diamond necklace thing, his, and his uh, longer sleeves. Uh, but and I think his corset too. He had one in his uh, for the first or second, technically second vampire drawing of him. But I, um, uh, but yeah. Other than that, I changed it up to be a bit more feminine because I tend to default to ca drawing Kaya very femininely. I don't know why. It's just what I do. Okay, so. <laughs> That allowed me to create a very a, a, a design that I'm much more happier with. Um, I think the problem was just last year I tried making his design a lot more masculine, and uh, I I tend to have a bit of a harder time designing more masculine looks than like androgynous or feminine leading leaning looks. Uh, so that tends that's probably why I didn't also didn't really like it that much. Um, but yeah, and also, um, also, uh, it's just really a fun time. I love Kaya. <laughs> He's my favorite character in Genshin Impact. I low-key have a, a crush on him, but, you know. <laughs> I actually, uh, main him as well in my main team, and I have mained him for about as long as I've been playing, which I think is almost three years now, because I started playing around the time, or, like, when the, uh, like, half- way through the first year of Genshin, I think, and around the time they were doing their first anniversary, which was a disaster, <laughs> um, and it was like right before Inazuma was released was when I started playing, so it's been a while. Now Fountain's released, <laughs> New Violette's banner is up, where has the time gone? Yeah, as you can tell, I'm currently, I, or I was currently coloring him in. I tinted his outfit to be a lot more red this time last year i did kind of both blue and red but i kind of just stuck to uh, a lot more reds this time um and i did end up going back and actually changing or tinting the hair 
the color of his hair slightly because his uh his more accurate hair color is like a more uh, like greenish blue it's like a slightly turquoise blue dark turquoise i think but in some of his artworks and how a lot of people draw him and how i've drawn him is with a bit of a darker blue so it's like those two color choices for his hair you got the dark turquoise and the dark more just blue blue and so i i started with the dark turquoise but i changed it to dark blue so it would look a little better with the red um just because red and and more greener colors i mean they do fine obviously but you can't christmas stole that color combo and i hate it <laughs> you can't do red and green without it being associated with christmas and this is halloween we're not doing it i don't even know why i'm yelling about this because his hair is not even green it's just green it's just like blue with a tint of green it's a warm colored blue but whatever it's fine <laughs> now for the background i did a similar thing that i did last year or tried to do last year where i uh did a stained glass window behind him and him sitting on something last time he was sitting on a throne but this time i uh, imagine that he's sitting on like uh imagine this might be like like a church place or something because of the stained glass windows so he might be sitting on like like those those uh steps that you would get to to like the the place where the preacher would preach or something like that i don't know this is actually a very similar composition to a drawing i did of one of my DD characters which is a, a kind of funny but uh yeah um and uh what i did with the shading at one point because his uh the 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 blacks of his uh of his uh, colors and his suit were way too dark to shade um i did a quick add glow layer with uh some blue to make it so that i can see where i'm shading on it i tend to do this whenever i have like darker parts of an outfit like the the clothes or a lot of times with the hair if they're uh, too dark and i can't see where i'm shading it and it also just adds a little bit more um value and stuff um, and yeah, I shaded him with dark blue since I wanted the walls to be more of a blue. The whole drawing ended up looking very red, probably, obviously, because he's wearing mostly red and then the stained glass window behind him is like glowing red or will be glowing red. And so it makes sense that it mostly looks red, but uh, I tried to adjust the colors at the very end to bring back a little bit of the blue, so it's still obviously kaya but yeah uh i did a stop uh, uh when i was rendering him out and decided to go back and work on the background i noticed in some of my drawings uh my backgrounds have been um a little lesser quality than i would like them to be because i've been trying to save a little bit of time when i do my artworks and so i don't spend as much time on my backgrounds as i used to so i wanted to spend a little bit more time with this one and shade out like the stained glass window and make have it uh have a little more uh depth to it and add some texture i actually uh used for a lot a large portion of this drawing a um, new clip studio paint new i've had it for a while i just now decided to use it um clip studio paintbrush that i downloaded called uh, chunky monkey variant it's it's a bit of a silly name but it's a really good brush you can see me using it on the walls it's it's really cool it's like got a very nice like painter like texture on it that gives it like a green effect i really like and i decided to do it here i probably won't uh use this for a lot of my artworks um probably just a few here and there i'm actually thinking of maybe using that brush for like like a future comic style because for every comic that i make i wanted to have like a slightly slightly different like styles to it obviously like still overall be my style but like have different brushes for line art and stuff and you know have it like have a f have different feels to it like my Hanko's Magical World comic looks a bit different from my Mysteries of Dysteria or Lost Heart one Lost Hearts ones because I render it differently and it's more colorful where Mysteries of Dysteria 
Um, so far, it, for the first two chapters, it's had a much more cleaner, uh, just, you know, overall graphic novel feel. But for these next chapters, I've moved over my stuff to Clip Studio. So I'll probably be um, doing some, I'll, I'll be doing something different with that. But real quickly, I wanted to mention uh, something that I did in the background was do this halo effect that I actually tried doing in the very first one, but it didn't really, um, I mean, it turned out okay. It's just the, it's just the drawing itself was so bad that it, it didn't really matter. But this is a technique that um, I know a lot of artists uh, will use where they'll add like a halo, almost like the line out like a halo surrounding the character's head and I really wanted to try this technique again because I hadn't actually done it since that first um, artwork of Kaya so I really wanted to do it and I really liked how it turned out um, it definitely like it's very much here is the focal point here is where the focal point is can you see it can, is it in your face it's very subtle I know but um yeah, I really liked how that turned out, and I also wanted to do. I might, I might do that for future artworks, honestly, especially with artworks that, with like my angel characters, that would be awesome. Um, but yeah, uh, obviously gave Kaya some makeup. I um, I redid it because I didn't like how it turned out. I try applying it like how I think you apply eyeshadow. Or like how you would actually apply real makeup. I don't know how to do that. I've never worn makeup. But I... Well, that's not entirely true. But I never... Um, I don't know how to do that. But I like apply it the way that I think you would. Right? Like the way I think people do it. Like you, you apply like the base first. And then if you want like a secondary color, you do that second. I don't know. But um, yeah, I uh, shading Kaya was super fun. I did a, I used a lot more textures, and uh, I it's a super small thing, but I slightly did a different thing with his knees. I shaded them a little differently just to give them like a little a bit more depth and to make them look a little more realistic. Because I'm still working on like ways to improve my anatomy and make it look like a little more realistic, like still stylized but i want like there to be you know just have it look good look like anatomy <laughs> you know um and uh yeah i'll talk a bit more about that at a different t time maybe at the end of the year but uh yeah uh and uh yeah so i and i wish i again very this is me just liking to draw kaya very femininely i often give him makeup of some kind because that's how I do, and I have a lot of guy characters. Not a lot, but I do have a good few that wear makeup, like Lie. You've seen me put makeup on my OC Chris in some of my other videos, and I have some, like my con like Thorn and Blank from Mysteries of Dysteria both wear makeup. It's just something I like doing. Um, and uh, back to back to the drawing, you can see I'm. I was adjusting the background at this point, trying to add in a bit more blue where I could just because that is that is Kaya's color. So I didn't want to like eliminate that completely, but it was a bit hard to because whenever I tried to add like a blue overlay, it made things look purple, which it, that, it did look good. So I kept it, but um, yeah, it was, it was a bit hard to add the blue back in where I could, but I, I, did, I did where I could. I did where I could. Um, and yeah, added in a lot more textures using that brush I talked about before to add in uh, textures onto Kaya himself. That was that look, ended up looking really cool. I shaded his eye. Um, and yeah, while I'm talking about that, I hope you guys are uh, having a good spooky month. I know Inktober is here. Uh, and I've never made a video about that, but hang on a second, because there's going to be a very special video about that. You'll see. You'll see. I'll be, it's, it's, it'll, I'll be here very soon, actually. But yeah. Um, yeah, I left his eye. I believe if I remember correctly. Yeah, I left his eye blue, which is something I also did last year, rather than making it red. Just because the whole, there's like, especially with this one, there's already so much red in it that I just, I, I just figured just to keep his original eye color. 
Maybe his other eye that's hidden under the hair is actually red too. Maybe it looks more vampire-y. I don't know. I, I didn't think about that. I just wanted to draw Kyle look, look, looking hot because he is, and he deserves it. He de he deserves it. Um, yeah, I'm finishing up the artwork here. I added in more details like these, uh, almost like blood drips from the ceiling because I I didn't have a foreground planned and the art was. The artwork just felt like it needed something, so I added that in and some watercolor splash effect, adjusted the color, and that was pretty much it. Yeah, thank you guys for watching the video. I, I really like how this drawing turned out. I love my boy. I love him so much. And this is not the last time I will be talking about him. Um, yeah, let me know if you guys have a character that you, you simp for and like either Genshin or whatever else. And if you've like drawn them like a, like a lot. Um, I, I've drawn him so much that I have like a whole way of drawing him that's like it's different from how it looks in the actual game and it's very much in my style but like i draw him with like extra eyelashes on the top of his eyes and on his lower lid i give him a fang because fang i know what like nose type to draw him with and i've almost memorized his design i feel like i've gotten to a point where i can like draw him without a reference not so much i've drawn him but uh yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and i hope you guys have a happy halloween spooky month i have more spooky videos coming out so this isn't the last one but yeah i hope you uh guys enjoy your month and make sure to check out my comics that i was just talking about linked below and also my other socials and with that i'll see you all in the next video 
Bye.